For the first time, Larry Miliete has been named a person of interest in the disappearance of his wife, Maya Miliete. Welcome back. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. I'm Jesse Pagan. As News 8's David Gofferton reports, the revelation came from a city attorney in open court right before the judge ordered all records unsealed and a gun violence restraining order filed against the husband. Good afternoon. We're on the record in the matter of the San Diego Police Department versus LM. Court records in the gun violence restraining order filed against Larry Miliete had been sealed temporarily before officers seized his entire gun collection from his home in Chula Vista. That original sealing order had a time frame for it. It was not a sealing order that was intended to be in effect forever. On Wednesday, at the request of News 8, San Diego Judge Catherine Bacall agreed the records should now be made public. And then came this from San Diego Deputy City Attorney Jeff Brooker, Larry Miliete, the husband of missing mother Maya Miliete, is a person of interest in the case. We agreed that we would not put up a fight for any of the information regarding Mr. Miliete, uh, his missing wife, that there is an investigation, uh, that he is a person of interest. The records include a photograph of Miliete's four-year-old son standing on a kitchen table surrounded by a cache of guns. An attorney for News 8 agreed the child's face and body should be redacted. There's nothing to be gained by showing and viewing a child themselves, even the body, even the t-shirt or the shirt that they're wearing. And I agree with you. We also learned in court Child Welfare Services is currently investigating the safety of the three Miliete children, ages 4, 10, and 11. I have information that there is an ongoing uh, CWS investigation. In the end, the judge ordered all records will be made public, except for the redaction of the minor in the photograph with the guns. The court finds that its sealing order has terminated and will not enter a further sealing order except as to the one attachment. Now, those records uh, still have not been made public. We expect them to re be released tomorrow or Friday. There could be more information in them that we still don't know about, so we'll let you know as soon as they get released. Jesse? Now, David, you reported on nine other gun violence restraining orders that are still sealed. What about those? Our attorney, uh, Matthew Halgren, brought that up to the judge. She told him that she is working on a plan to make sure that gun violence restraining order cases that are supposed to be unsealed actually get unsealed so the public has access to them. David Gofferson following every step of the Miliote case for us. David, thank you.